Well, the, the company's called Metro Biotech, and uh, it makes super NAD boosters. And the drug is called, developmental drug is MIB-626. Well, it, it often comes as a shock um, to people who don't work on this that we're already testing these molecules in clinical trials on elderly people. I've been doing that for a number of years now uh, with some positive results. We hope to get on the market in about uh, three years from now for, for diseases, FDA approved. But we're also going to be testing later uh, energy. Uh, we can measure actually the NAD levels, that molecule I just mentioned. Um, we can measure that in their muscles and we'll test if that worked. Um, and we'll, we'll measure, of course, their endurance because the mice that we treated with NMN uh, they just ran and ran and ran. They actually broke the little treadmill in my lab because they ran so far. Yeah. I study it. I find out what the risks are, uh, and then I try yeah. uh, try to be ahead of the curve. But also, uh, I, I see things years ahead of the rest of the world and my colleagues. Um, and so my colleagues don't know what I know. And what I know is that we've been giving NAD boosters. This class of molecules is called NAD boosters. There's one called MIB626 that we've put into humans for at least a year now. Um, in clinical trials. And so we've got the data back on that. And there's nothing yet to concern me. Um, but, you know, I want your listeners to know that I'm doing very hardcore rigorous science in animals and in humans, in, in clinical trials, because I'm a scientist and I'm also concerned about human health. And that's my way of getting us to a future that I think we, we need to get to um, the best that I know what, the way I can do that as an individual and also try to bring the world up to speed in the knowledge that I think will progress the field forward. Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. We have just heard about the NAD booster MIB626 from Dr. Sinclair in the last two video clips. In this video, we will talk about this compound that has completed phase one human clinical trials and is now in phase two. We will look at the trial in more detail later in the video. First, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing some information that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. On the website created by Dr. David Sinclair to accompany his book, Lifespan, there is a page which talks about the various NAD boosters, such as NR and NMN. MIB626 is mentioned as an example of the kind of research going into creating novel NAD boosters. What is MIB626? It is a proprietary crystallized precursor of NAD+, developed by Metro International Biotech, with a focus on potency and biodistribution. Who is Metro Biotech? This is the company that Dr. Sinclair mentioned in the Joe Rogan podcast. According to their website, Metro International Biotech is a privately owned clinical stage pharmaceutical company. Their target is to create a library of NAD boosters and they identify MIB-626 as their lead compound. Dr. Sinclair is a co-founder and chairman of their scientific advisory board. They say that they have developed a solid oral stage formulation of MIB-626 with scalable manufacturing capabilities, which would seem to imply that they are preparing to release MIB-626 on the market. They also mention ongoing phase two trials so let's have a look at the ongoing trial. Here is the trial. NAD plus precursor supplementation in Friedrich's ataxia, which is a genetic disease of the nervous system. The trial is sponsored by Metro International Biotech. The primary objective of the trial was to test the safety and tolerability of MIB-626 in Friedrich's ataxia with the secondary objective of testing the effect of MIB-626 on cardiac and skeletal muscle bioenergetics. It is an interventional clinical trial with 10 participants. There is only one group, so no control group, and it will last for 14 days. It is a phase 2a study. The trial was scheduled to start on April 10th this year. The page has not been updated, so there is no public results so far. The treatment is 1 gram of MIB-626 taken orally daily. The outcomes that they are measuring are primarily safety, where they are closely watching adverse events and key biomarkers. They will also look at some other measures, for example a marker of mitochondrial oxidative phosphorylation capacity, which represents how much energy the mitochondria can produce. 
and the level of NAD in skeletal muscle. They will look at grip strength and NAD levels in blood, which all looks very interesting in terms of the efficacy of MIB-626 raising the NAD levels in our body. I hope that you found the video informative. We will continue to follow this very interesting compound and let you know when we have any updates. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.